My name is Cindy Lou Howe, and I'm a teacher. I'm also a writer and an activist, and I'm also mixed. I was born in South Korea to an African-American father and a Korean mother, but because of my heritage, my parents were concerned about me growing up mixed in Korea. So shortly after my birth, we moved to the United States, but I never returned to Korea. My master's thesis involved research about mixed race students and their access to education all around the world. However, there was virtually nothing about the contemporary experiences of mixed race Koreans. Naturally, this raised a few questions for me. What's it like to grow up mixed in Korea today? How are these children performing in school? And most of all, is the definition of who is Korean changing? To find out the answer to these questions, 30 years after leaving Korea, I returned for the very first time. One thing I saw is that South Korea is always changing. In just 60 years, South Korea has survived colonization and a civil war to emerge as a prosperous and cosmopolitan nation. Due to globalization, Korea is also experiencing a demographic change. By 2020, it's estimated that in some areas, over half of the population will be mixed race. But despite this dramatic shift, many people are resistant to this change. Because of discrimination and bullying, over 40% of multi-ethnic students will drop out of Korean public schools, compared to just 2% of the general population. For over a decade, community groups and grassroots schools have relied on shoestring budgets in order to provide a safe learning environment for multi-ethnic and immigrant children. But with census data confirming the inevitable trend, last year, the Ministry of Education announced that it would open 26 preschools specifically for mixed race and immigrant children. While the government is attempting to address this issue, history has shown that separate but equal systems don't create equality. In my opinion, part of the answer is listening to the stakeholders. Over four years, I worked with community groups and schools and I realized that one way that I can support mixed race students and their families was by creating a film. I interviewed academics, community organizers, principals, parents, student activists, and the kids themselves. Their candid perspectives are both insightful and inspiring. I want more people to hear what they have to say. Thanks to the generosity of friends old and new, we're 90% of the way there. But to complete this film, I need your help. Our modest goal of about $5,000 will cover post-production costs like film editing, sound mastering, and color correction. To maximize this film's full potential, it will be made available in both Korean and English. But given my poor Korean language skills, I will need to rely on a translator. Your support will also help defray the cost of film DVDs, enabling us to distribute them widely. Your contribution will enable me to complete this film and hopefully to impact this very important issue in Korea today. My return to Korea has been a four-year professional and personal journey. During my time there, I saw the country's remarkable pace of change. And hey, I changed a lot too. I returned to the United States invested in Korea's multicultural future. I hope that this film will inspire many others like you to get involved and support Korea's future. I am extremely grateful for your support. Thank you very much and 감사합니다.